welcome to Linux help tutorial. I am going to explain about how to deploy virtual machines in Red Hat Enterprise virtualization. First we can see how to create a new ISO domain in the storage. Before creating we are going to create a storage with the NFS service. So we need to install the NFS service in the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization manager. Now we can go to the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization manager machine. I have taken the FSH of the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization manager machine. Now we can see the installation of the NFS. The command is yum install NFS iPhone utils space iPhone y now give enter the nfs utils is already installed the nfs tool is installed during the red hat enterprise virtual manager installation so we can move to the next step now execute the check config command check config nfs on now we need to start the rpc bind service service rpc bind start now start the nfs service service nfs start now we need to create the iso directory to upload the ISO files. So I am creating directory ISO mkdir slash ISO. Now give enter. Now we need to edit the etc exports file nano slash etc exports. Now give enter. Now we need to add the entry slash ISO give tab and enter the IP 192.168.7.214. Now we need to give the range IP range for accessing the NFS share 192.168.7.0 slash 24 open bracket rw now close the bracket now save the file and exit now we need to run the export fs command export fs iphone a now go to the slash directory and list the files the iso file which is created ownership as root and root now we need to change the ownership for the ISO directory, you need to give the user ownership as VDSM and group ownership as KVM group. The command is change own 36 colon 36 and space slash ISO. The first 36 that is the UID of the VDSM user and the second 36 is the GID of the KVM group. Now give enter. Now list the files. Now we can see the ownership is changed to VDSM and KVM group. Now we can see how to create the domain with the NFS type. Now go to the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager web interface. Now choose the data center and in data center you choose the storage and click new domain to add the new new storage. Now enter the name. I am giving ISO underscore domain and the storage type is ISO NFS and you can use the host. I'm using the RHEVH1 host and you need to mention the export path. The export path is 192.168.7.214 colon slash ISO. After entering the information, you can give OK. Now it is creating. Now we can see the ISO underscore domain is created. Now it is attached. If it does not get attached, you can use the attach option here. Now it is active. Now we can see how to upload the ISO image files for the for deploying virtual machines. I am going to upload a Ubuntu 16.04 image file. For uploading the image files, the RHEVM provides a tool called RHEVM ISO Uploader. Now we can upload the files to the ISO domain. I am going to upload the Ubuntu 16.04 ISO. The command is RHEVM ISO Uploader upload iPhone i. Then the domain name that is ISO underscore domain face the file name that is open to 16.04 iso now give enter now it starts uploading the iso file this will take some time now the ubuntu 16.04 iso is uploaded successfully next we need to upload the virtualization guest tools this guest tools should be installed to get access to the physical hardware the command is rhevm iso uploader Upload iPhone I the domain name that is ISO underscore domain space the ISO path slash user share RHEV guest tools and RHEV tools setup dot ISO now give enter now it is uploading this will take some time 
now guest tools iso is uploaded now we can check the files in the web interface now go to storage and select the iso domain and select the images now we can see the two iso files that is uploaded next we can see how to create virtual machines now select the system and select the virtual machines tab and click new vm to create a new virtual machine and you need to select the cluster and data center and based on the template is blank and the template subversion is base template one that is default and the operating system you need to select the operating system you can select the ubuntu you can select the ubuntu version and the instance type that is custom and now give name for the virtual machine i'm giving ubuntu and if you want to give description and comment you can give here now we need to give the optimize for it you need to select the desktop because we are going to install the desktop version and after giving this now click ok now we need to configure the virtual disk click configure later and now edit the virtual machine now click edit now click show advanced option and select the system now we need to give the memory size that is the ram i am giving 1 gb and you can select the total virtual cpus i am giving one and set the time zone for the virtual machine and next select the initial run next select the boot option and the first device is hard disk and the second device is none and take the attached cd and select the iso image of the ubuntu now click ok before starting the virtual machine now click guide me and configure the virtual disk now give size for the virtual hard disk i am giving 10 gb for the virtual hard disk now give ok now it is adding the virtual hard disk now click configure later and before switching on the virtual machine you need to install the spice plugin to make the virtual machine work well the command is yum install spice iPhone XPI now give us to download and install the package this will take some time now the spice plugin installed successfully now we need to log out the visualization manager and again login now login using the username and password now go to the virtual machine and and right click and give run once and change the boot order select the boot options and select the boot options as cd rom then hard disk and then the network now click ok now we can power on the virtual machine now right click and select run now it is powering up the virtual machine now to open the console window now select the console now we can see the console.vb file now we select the default remote viewer and give ok now the remote viewer is open now you can see the installation is started now select your language now you can select install ubuntu you can follow the on screen instruction to install the ubuntu os now the virtual machine is created and the ubuntu os is installed now login into the virtual machine uh, now the ubuntu machine is booted now we saw how to create a virtual machine in red hat enterprise virtualization we can see more about red hat enterprise virtualization in the next video thank you for watching